us. We've already had one successful fooler. Is there another in the house? Let's find out as we meet our next magician. I always knew I was never going to be a serious magician. Far too uncoordinated and not attractive enough. Play to your strengths, always play to your strengths. My interest in magic comes largely from my great uncle. At family get-togethers, he would come by and eat fire. I'm from uh, Toronto, Canada. <laughs> what are Canadian people like? I've tried to do a little bit of good in the world. I do a show called The Mosquitoes Suck. We raise money for people in Africa who are suffering uh, with malaria. If I could fool Penn and Teller, I will politely apologize because that is the Canadian way. Joined by five randomly selected members of our audience, please welcome Matt DeSero. Thank you. Thank you very much. Normally you see psychics on TV, these fake psychics on TV. And they know girls' phone numbers, they know lottery numbers, you know, they know social insurance numbers. I've actually chosen to direct my fake psychic powers to knowing one thing and one thing only. I know the color of these people's underwear. It's okay if you're not wearing any, man. We'll sort that out. Don't worry about it. So look, I'm going to give you each a card. And on this card, I would like you to write down the color of your underwear, but you gotta have some fun with it, okay? So take the card, you can write down anything you like, but have some fun with it. So if you're wearing white, don't write just white. White would be kind of boring, you know? So instead, be creative, you know? You could write, uh, uh, you could write marshmallow, you know? Or maybe instead of white, you might write cloud, you know? If you're wearing black, don't write just black. Black would be boring. Instead, maybe you would write, like, coal, you know? Or maybe you'd write midnight, something hot, something sexy, you know? Lace, something like that. Brown is not a color, sir, just so you know, okay? You can't have that. <laughs> So uh, have as much fun as you like, write it down. When you're finished, hold the card up to your chest so I can't see what you've written. That's very important. So write down whatever you like, have as much fun as you want, but never let me see what you've written. In a minute, I'm gonna try and be uh, less like a psychic and more like a poker player who knows a little bit of magic. I'm gonna try and uh, figure out whose underwear belongs to who and uh, who's lying, who's telling the truth, combining a little bit of the science of body language and a little bit of magic. So when you're finished, I'll take your pens. Thank you. How you doing there, sir? Writing a book? Nope, you got it, good. Now, if you would take all of your cards, pass them down to the gentleman on the, uh, on the end, okay, sir? So you get them, take all the cards, pass them down to the gentleman on the end. All right, just pass them down. Look at you having a little peek at the cards there, sir, hey? Eh? Give them a shuffle so I don't know the order. I'll turn my back. Give them a shuffle. I don't want to know whose underwear belongs to, so shuffle, 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 and let me know when you've done that. Have you done that? Yep. Excellent. I'll take the cards. We'll see what we got. Somebody here wrote down eggshell. Sexy, sexy. <laughs> Somebody wrote down tangerine. Man, I don't. I like it. Somebody here wrote down midnight, kind of middle of the road. Somebody wrote down snow. Cha cha cha. Somebody wrote down ocean blue. If that's yours, I'll <laughs> myself, sir. That's hilarious. So like a poker player, I'm going to try and figure out who's lying, who's telling the truth, whose underwear belongs to who, and I'll do that just by saying the word on the card. Uh, so when I say the word, what I want you to do is always answer in the affirmative. Always say, that's my underwear. Never tell me it's not your underwear. Always say, that's my underwear. I'll try and figure out who's lying, who's telling the truth, okay? So we'll try it here. Eggshell. That's my underwear. I want it to be, no question. Eggshell. That's my underwear. Possibly, she closed her eyes. Maybe a sign. Eggshell. That's my underwear. Ooh, maybe. Eggshell. That's my underwear. Nice. Eggshell. That's my underwear. Look at the smile on your face, sir. <laughs> I'm going to give you the eggshell. Don't tell me if I'm right or wrong. Just hang on to it. I do like this one. Tangerine. Let's try it here. Tangerine. That's my underwear. Nice. Tangerine. That's my underwear. Oh. I think we might have a winner. Tangerine. That's my underwear. Mm, possibly. Tangerine, sir. That's my underwear. You could be wearing two pair. <laughs> Tough to say. I'm not sure, but I'm going to give you the tangerine. Don't tell me if I'm right or wrong. Just hang on to it. Uh, we'll try it here. Midnight. I'll start right back over here, looking at you. Midnight. That's my underwear. Mm, possibly. Let's check with you again. Midnight. That's my underwear. Mm, now you blinked. That's tough to say. Midnight. That's my underwear. No, I'm not sure. I'm going to give you the midnight. Now look, finally, I have snow and I have ocean blue. Either way, it's not working out well for you, big guy. People are going to talk. <laughs> well, but I'm going to go with my gut on this one. I'm going to give you the snow and I'm going to give you the ocean blue. Now look, I gave you each a card. If I gave you the card that you wrote on, if I gave you the card that corresponds to the underwear you're wearing, please return to your seats now.
everybody picks their underwear? I know a little bit about everyone. I know the intimate Dude, secrets of everyone really? in the audience, yes. Does that ever go horribly wrong? I once had an audience member say, uh, you know, I'm just not wearing any. Oh. And then they've uh, turned with their back to the crowd and opened up their fly and their pants to actually show me their underwear, which... You know, for the effect goes wrong, but for me personally, it was fantastic. Well, that's I, like, I enjoyed that. why you still do the trick. Yeah, yeah, it's actually what I hope for all the time now. It's in my dream job. Let's see how Penn and Teller are doing. Yes. I wonder how they'll manage with this. I know. Can you guess their underwear? Well, if, if I, if I let that secret, there are secrets, yeah, yeah, yeah. and then there are secrets. Right. All right. All right. Oh, uh, you know, this is a, uh, 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 a, uh, an effect that goes back, I think, starts out mostly as part of the religious, uh, religious act of spiritualism. You would be given an object and you'd be able to tell who it belonged to because the spirits of the dead would tell you. Well, it's not that. Spirits of the dead did not tell you. Um, also, you don't have someone in the audience flirting with the people asking them, oh, by the way, what color is your underwear? Which is a great pickup line, by the way. Try using it. Um, and uh, those also are real people from the audience. But one of the things we ask ourselves as magicians, we ask ourselves, if we had real magical powers, what would we want to do? You are the only one who's answered that question from my heart. <laughs> if I had real magical powers, I would want to do your psychometry, whether it's pseudo or whether it's real. If I had magic powers, they would be yours, Matt. They would be yours. Thank you, and that is why you guys are the best. <laughs> totally, totally busted me out on that. So you're satisfied? Yeah, oh, of course. Okay. Thank you, you very did much, not guys. fool them. Thank but you. you When we 